everybody, it's Richard and I'm back for another video and I'm back today because everybody knows what today is. It is Paul McCartney's 81st birthday. He turns 81 today. He's 81 and he's still as good as ever. He uh, toured last year, did the Got Back Tour. I think he did a great job last year. I think he sounded the best he did. Hey, he has in a long time. Uh, so Paul is 81 today. Um... And I was struggling, figuring out what I was going to do for a video. I have to acknowledge it, because you all know how I feel about Paul. He's my hero, he's my idol. But I was struggling with what I was going to do uh, for a video, because I couldn't really figure it out. I pretty much shown everything that I have for Paul and the Beatles. On my channel, I could have done a collection video, but I mean, I have so much stuff that I really didn't want to, I mean, I took a nap, I took a nap, and I kind of just woke up, so, and I don't really feel like digging everything out. I was also going to show my archives, all the art, Paul McCartney archives I have, and I still might do that. I think I'm going to do a couple videos dedicated to Paul this week. Because I really didn't have anything prepared yet. So I was thinking about what I was going to do. And I couldn't really come up with anything. And I didn't come up with anything. But I had, I have to uh, come on and acknowledge uh, his birthday. Because he's my hero. Uh, so, um, yeah, he turns 81 um, today. And I don't have to tell you what uh, he means to me. Because I met him. I met him um, in 2002. I am a uh, Make-A-Wish kid. And that, actually, my wish was to see Paul in concert, but he was not touring at the time. He would do the uh, uh, Driving the U.S. tour later um, in that year. And I ended up getting front row seats to the concert. And he pointed his guitar at me during Back in the USSR. Um, so he... So he, yeah, I got to meet him, and that was one of that was the best experience of my life. He's been with me since I've been uh, three years old. I discovered him before the Beatles, unlike most people. Most people discover the Beatles first, and then discover the solo music. I discovered the solo music first, and I think that's why I like his solo stuff. Better than the Beatles. I know most people think I'm insane for that, but I, I really don't care. That's just the way I feel. But like I said, he's been with me since I've been three years old. Uh, he's got me, his music, him and his music have got me through some of the toughest times in my life, and I love him. And I'm, I know now some people. I won't say who, but some people um, kind of say they think he's fake. Um, and I'm not just talking about one person. There's a few people who think he's fake. And he's kind of not as nice as he pretends to be. And I don't believe that for one second. I spent 45 minutes with the guy I think I know. And I've talked and I've seen and heard so many great stories about him. And I've talked to many people who have met him and spent time with him, who said he was incredible and was incredible with them. Uh, so, I know I know who uh, Paul is, and um, I think all his fans, his real fans, know who he is. So, uh, yeah, I just, I had to come on and say a little something. Uh, I had to come on and do a little something here to acknowledge uh Paul's birthday, and like I said, um, I'm planning on making, um, a few videos this week, um, dedicated to Paul, I think I am going to show my archives one day this week, dig out all my archives, they'll probably be a long video, but I enjoy looking at them, I haven't looked at them in a while, I'll dig them all out, and I'll show you all of them, I know a lot of you, probably most of you, have seen them already, and if you don't want to uh, watch that video, you don't have to. But I think that's just something I can do this week to uh, celebrate Paul's 81st birthday. 
and I believe there is, uh, and I think there is more coming from Paul. I do think he, I don't know, he may, I don't think he's going to tour this year now, because, um, he, because the year is half over. I think if he was going to tour, he would have announced it already, but I don't think we've heard the last from Paul by long, so I do think if he doesn't tour this year, he will tour again, and I definitely think, and I think he is working on new music, which he bas which he basically said in an interview a few months ago. He was working on new music. What now? Whether he was talking about uh, working with the Stones on their album, or actually working on a new album, I don't know. But I think uh, I definitely think he's been doing something, and he just put out this new book. Which I've seen, uh, like I said, more Beatle Vinyl 85 went through, uh, The Eyes of the Storm from 1964, and it's an incredible book. If you haven't got it yet, uh, you should definitely buy it. I don't have it yet, but it's definitely on my agenda to buy. Uh, so yeah, I just had to come on here quick and do a quick tribute to my hero, Sir Paul McCartney, who turns 81 today. God bless you, Paul. Keep going. I love you. Uh, don't go anywhere. Don't listen to the people who say you should retire. Keep going for as long as you want or for the rest of your life. Love you. God bless you. Peace and love.